Hey everybody, this week on 3D Archery, we're going to DIY Archery Target, otherwise known as Do It Yourself. Hey everybody, Greg here. You know, I, you know, I love shooting 3D archery. What I love is the variety of targets. You know, paper targets are cool. When I'm indoor shooting, I'm focused because it's a tournament and I'm trying to get maximum number of points. But I'm just playing around, I get bored with that real quick. So I've been looking around and one day, I just happened to be in my local archery shop, and I seen this on the floor. All right, see how big it is? They come in different sizes. It's a shooting block. This one here is called the Archery Stop by Delta Targets. Claims will stop bulls up to 60 pounds. Here's one way to look at it. Now this here is just a cheap printed piece of paper on it. And I bought it. And I bought it for one reason. And that, because the guy that I shoot with, you see in all my videos, Jeff Krug, he's a member of this group called Clan TST on Facebook. And one of the things, a little running joke they have is about duck, stump ducks. And they shoot these little rubber ducks. Well, we were going to go out and shoot, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to make Jeff something special. And let me reach down, and I'll show you what I made him. I made him the mother of all ducks. That's right, mod. This thing's pretty cool, and that's what I made it out of. And it stopped the arrows well. I can shoot this for nine yards with a 50-pound bow, and she doesn't pass all the way through. So you can see, you can get real creative with it. Now, I built that one, and I had a little bit left over. So... I made a squirrelish looking thing. Now this is the reason he looks like this because that's exactly the size. I mean I did very little cutting on them. So how do you cut them? I'll show you that in a second. Alright so you want to cut it. You don't have you know what I use is a bandsaw or a table saw and it works great. If you don't have that go to Home Depot buy one of these that'll work. Go to Home Depot buy one of those that will work. Go to Home Depot go to your stepfather's house steal his that's all you got to do. Just draw it out, cut it, and you can get creative with the painting. Now, I use different colors, and I noticed it didn't do anything foam. Some spray paints will actually eat the foam. It's the acetone in it eating it, but this stuff didn't seem to do that. So what we're going to do is I bought another block, which you've seen, and one of my favorite movies is Caddyshack, and I want to make that gopher. So we're going to take you through it and show you how I made it target so you can do it if you want at home so up next is the design phase we got to figure out how to draw that stupid gopher all right everybody here my washing machine running it's the weekend we had this snowstorm hitting the east coast so I'm stuck down here in my basement um, picture of the gopher from Caddyshack and found this like clip art up so all you do is you print it get an idea of it. There's a couple ways you can do it. One thing I found is this material, pencils don't work and normal pens don't work, a Sharpie does. The problem with Sharpie is it's permanent. So what I found was a highlighter. A highlighter worked well. Now you can do it a couple ways, like I said, you can freehand it. Or another trick is you print it and you blow it up the size you want and you get some old carbon paper, put it on there and trace it and it'll come off. But I drew it by hand. And there he is. Now I'm going to cut them out and we're going to paint them up. I'm going to try to use my bandsaw. So let's see what we do. So I don't get yelled at by the safety Nazis. Safety first. One cut out groundhog. It only takes a few minutes. Doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, I do have one little part I gotta do right there, so let's do that real quick. Sorry.
lime and groundhog. Now I gotta just paint them up, show you how we do that next. You know, looking at my pictures, I got two to three colors. Dark brown. Light brown. And I'll probably use my airbrush, maybe infuse some white and do the blacks. So, large color painting, large sections. Don't worry about being super, you know, it's just gonna get shot up. So, let's get to painting. Okay. Done, let it dry, and I'll put the details on it. All right, outlined. No, you don't have to, but I do, both sides, just for giggles. How do you do the detailing? You could use an airbrush, which I really like, but I'm just gonna shoot it, so I'm just gonna paint it. You know what, and if you don't even wanna paint, A sharpie works just as fine, All right? But it's up to you. So, do some painting. See how it comes out. All right, there he is. Um, you can buy the Target for about anywhere between $19 online, cheap as I've seen, the average is about $24. And there you have it. You know, you could even, I might have to try this down the road, buy a couple of them, glue them together, and make a 3D Target. But for 20 bucks, I got me a groundhog, or a gopher, whatever you want to call them. All right, so that's how you got it. If you want it, it's pretty simple, huh? Make your own targets. Be creative. Do what you want. You can make a, a gopher. You can make a duck. You can make a squirrel. You can make your least favorite person in the world. An in-law, a teacher at school, whatever. Shoot some targets at it. You can take it and paste a picture on it and shoot that. It's a pretty neat little thing, and I really enjoy it. All right, boys and girls, you know the deal. If you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. If you got something to say, got a question, put it in the comments down below. And I'll see you next week with an all new episode, 3D Archery.